First off, this is uh, JR East Pass. You can use unlimited for five days within the Togo area for JR drains and Shinkansen's. We bought our tickets from a ticketing office in Shinjuku Station which we presented our passports and we paid 20,000 yen. Good morning! Hi guys, this is Athena and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to Sendai! It's 6.30 in the morning and our train is at 6.38 and we are currently at Uena Station waiting for our Shinkansen train. See you later! Bye! This is actually my first time riding a Shinkansen train and I'm so excited and this is my OOTD. I only packed a backpack full of clothes and yeah, an umbrella. Okay, so this is the train and this is not the iconic Shinkansen train but wait for it because the iconic green Shinkansen train is about to arrive and there it is. Just to inform you guys, this is the first Shinkansen train of the day and during this time, there weren't a lot of people inside the train so it was really very comfortable. We did actually reserve our seats because we didn't want the hassle of changing seats if the seats are already taken. It kind of looks like the inside of an airplane. Look at how fast Shinkansen trains are. Even Google can't compete how fast it is. Let me show you how fast the Shinkansen is. You can't really feel it inside, but once you see it from outside, it's really, really fast. Look at those patches of cherry blossoms. It kind of feels slow, but actually it's really fast. Look at those cherry blossoms, it's so pretty. And that is actually a cemetery. So we arrived in Sendai, but first, toilet. Well, to be fair, there is a toilet inside a train, I just didn't want to use it. First, we are going to our hotel, which is the 9 hours capsule hotel, to leave our things. So, we're gonna walk 20 minutes from the station. So, let's go! You can actually take the bus from the station, we just wanted to walk because um, we have so much energy. <laughs> Second floor. Going up. Going in. Second floor. 
We got in earlier than our check-in time but they were kind enough to let us leave our luggages so we can just tour around. Our hotel actually cost 2,214 yen. So we just checked in our luggages and we are going for breakfast now. Since it's our first day, we kind of felt fancy and just took a Starbucks breakfast. I got a salmon avocado wrap and also my favorite drink which is an iced americano without water and two pumps of white mocha. <laughs> so we're walking towards Media Tech, Sendai Media Tech. I wanted to visit this building because it was designed by a famous Japanese architect, architect Toyo Ito, who is the 2013 Pritzker Prize winner. This is actually a public institution for culture, but it was temporarily closed, so we weren't able to go inside. From above, it's kind of open to allow natural lighting inside. So it goes in the stoops, I mean, those columns. This is. So actually, we are in FM Entertainment Show. So this is Sendai Media Tech. So those are steel tubes, it acts like columns. Well. What is it? Is it? After a short detour at Sendai Media Tech, we wanted to go to Matsushima Island, so we are taking the JR lines going to Matsushima. We are going to use the same tickets that we used for our Shinkansen train. So next stop, Matsushima Kaigan Station. <laughs> so we went down at Matsushima Kaigen Station and we are going to take a boat cruise. We just bought it from the ticket office in front of the station. It's worth a thousand yen? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> So Matsushima Kaigen Station is um, 45 minutes from Sendai Station. They said that one boat ride will take about 50 minutes but before we can go in we have to wait for our time because there is schedule for every trip. It's just 11 a.m. and our boat ride is at 12, so we are just going to tour around the area. At the end of the two bridges, you will see Godaita Temple, and also you could overlook the sea from there. There is a little souvenir shop on the left.
we're gonna take that course one. I mean that boat one. No riba. <laughs> one. There are two options for the ride. You could stay at the first floor or the second floor. If you want to stay at the second floor, you have to pay an extra 300 yen. Eating the seagulls. Also, please be aware that there have been cases of seagulls taking cell phones. <laughs> okay, so you have to keep in mind what she said. Oh my god, it's a movie. <laughs> We hope you will enjoy your guided tour of Matsushima, one of the three most scenic spots in Japan. The green scenery of pine trees can be seen all year round. If you have seasickness, you can actually access the deck and just stay there and just enjoy the fresh air. a small stall beside the bay area where you can just eat and chill after the tour this is their menu they have gyutong which is beef tongue they have croquet oysters soups and alcohols and i ordered the kakichige onigiri setto which is a spicy soup with oysters inside my friend got the strawberry beer and i got udong cha and also, I recommend you try the beef tongue croquet, this one. It's really, really good. Actually, all their food are really delicious. Next up, it's the Fukurabashi Bridge. It's this long red bridge connecting two islands. So let's go! Before going to the bridge, there is a small facility where you have to pay 200 yen. This is a souvenir shop where you could buy souvenirs called Omiyage. <laughs> This is called Sasa Kamaboko. It is very famous in Sendai and also throughout Japan. It is made by grinding fish until it becomes like a paste. Then they shape it like a leaf. So this Kamaboko you have to grill it for around 8 to 10 minutes until you could see grill marks and also it will kind of bloat. I heard that this is really good because okay so there's a story behind this Kamaboko. So remember what they said in the boat earlier that some seagulls taking the phone. So my kamaboko was taken by a seagull so I wasn't able to really eat it. 
Before I got the chance to taste my kamoboko, when I looked away, my stick kind of felt light and then I saw a seagull flying with my kamoboko and I was so shocked and just so speechless after what happened. It took me 8 to 10 minutes to grill it so I really didn't want to do it again so I wasn't able to eat it or taste it. Um, so I'm going to show you the last pictures I got with the kamoboko. So I recommend if you if you're going to buy kamoboko, you should just eat it inside and don't go outside walking with it because some seagulls will be really stealthy and eat your kamoboko. So look at how beautiful those grill marks are and look how happy I am. But after that, goodbye. Yeah. Then you pull that and take this is the path to Zwiganji Temple. We didn't actually go inside because you have to pay 700 yen and we took a lot of pictures already. So we just opted to like walk around because the area is really beautiful. Time check, it's 3.40 in the afternoon and I wasn't able to eat that kamaboko because of that stupid bird who ate my kamaboko. And now we're going back to the station and going back to Sendai. This is me inside the sleeping quarters of the capsule hotel and I can't really make a noise because people are already sleeping at this time. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got from the capsule hotel. Good evening, I'm back and we're about to eat. We just took a nap for 30 minutes and now we're going to eat dinner. Sendai is actually known for gyutan which is beef tongue so we are going to eat in a restaurant that serves beef tongue. I really really recommend this restaurant because the food is so good, the service is on point, they are very fast in the service and they are very polite and understanding when you make a mistake in your order. I highly recommend this, 10 out of 10. I think they also have a brunch in the US. The bill got so expensive because after the first batch, we ordered another batch of beef, tongue and more. So that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching my day one in Sendai. So please look forward for the next video which are the Yamagata and Ginzan Onsen. Those are my two favorite trips. So look forward to it. See you. Bye. Um, but, uh, it's a video. Midnight, Midnight snack. snack. <laughs> mm. It's just so fun being like outside Tokyo. <laughs> Even though it looks exactly like Tokyo. It's just so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs>